Good evening, I'm Tom Smith, and welcome to the Toronto Housing Report, where we give you the latest on the city's current buying trends. We now go live to our field reporter, Brad, for a current update on the housing market. Brad? I'm 32. I work with you guys. And I still live with my parents. Ah! Thanks, Brad. I am not done yet. Oh, okay. By all means, Brad. Continue. Wages up by a few dollars, but house prices up by a few hundred thousand. Perfect consistency. Thanks, Brad. Perfect consistency. It makes so much sense. More condos for everyone. I'll buy a small space for $400,000. Starting price. What's next? Mega blocks? God damn it. Here, have that. Okay, clearly Brad is in passionate form I today. Got no more! Camera two, don't you dare cut to him. The Toronto Housing Report will be right back after these messages. Hey, welcome back. I am joined now by Dr. Robert Danjuma, Distinguished Professor of Economics from Shia Onta Diop University in Dakar, Senegal. And he is now a visiting fellow with the University of Toronto. The professor's new book, Condonomics, How to Navigate Affordable Housing in the Modern North American Metropolis, hits bookstores today. Professor, yes. thanks for being on the show. Thanks for having me. Now, Professor, people are finding it increasingly difficult nowadays to find cheap and affordable housing in a large city like Toronto. Tell me, Professor, how does your book help the average house buyer navigate this rather difficult market? Hmm. Well, Tom, I'll be honest, it doesn't. You see, my book, Condonomics, is not so much help as it is a warning. A warning, Professor? Yes. These prices are ridiculous. How can a working or middle-class man afford a condominium or a house in the current economy? Well, here you there, Professor. As my reporters have been accurately, accurately articulating, the market is quite hot. Hot? Yeah. Um, I think you got the wrong adjective there. S hot sounds attractive, beach-like. I'm sorry, did you just say beach-like? Yeah. See, what's attractive about buying a house for a million and two hundred thousand dollars? A house that was a hundred thousand dollars less than 30 years ago. Uh, okay. Well, okay, that was a really specific example. Yeah, so, thanks. Okay, so what are some things people can do? What are some actions people can take in this day and age? Uh, yeah, there's plenty you can do. Great. Um, stay at home with your parents. Pray to God you're rich. Or fall into crippling debt while debating whether to pay your mortgage or feed your kids. Oh, dear Lord, this is so grim. Yeah. Well, I understand. You are probably looking for a scholar with a surefire plan to help your audience navigate the current market. Yes. Yes, that's exactly what I was looking for. Yeah, get in line. See, I've been studying economics for years now. And these prices, they're insane. They don't make sense to me. Okay. How about renting? Mm, sure. Moving out of the city. Yeah, why not? But owning your own place in the city. <laughs> yeah, good luck. Well, there you have it. Condonomics hits bookstores today, so be sure to pick up your uh, copy at a... Uh, don't buy my book. Yeah. See, I'm looking forward to universities um, overcharging their students for the book in the foreseeable future anyways. 
Don't buy the book. It'll be expensive in bookstores when you hit university. So that'll be a hell of a way to make a profit. Okay. Professor, thank you for being on the show. Thank you. Don't buy the book yet. Damn, all right. So high. Uh, never have a house. I wonder if mom's gonna make me a sandwich. I, 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 I was